I've said all I'm going to say. There's nothing more to say about Kagan the Pagan. I'm on record. My monologue about Kagan the Pagan is on michaelsavage.com. Read it. If you don't like it, it's too bad. Then put together your own website. Okay, then you can tell people to read your opinion. That's all. It's that simple. That's a, let's move on. Now, just as the media has lied to you about how brilliant Kagan is, the media has lied to you about various and sundry medical advances. One of them is uh, a group of drugs, cholesterol-lowering drugs, called statins. Statins. What you don't know is that it's one of the greatest scams in the history of medicine. A new study has come out that was published in the uh, Archives of Internal Medicine, June of 28, 2010, that tends to support everything I have suspected about the uh, pharmaceutical medical establishment that should shock you. Now, I've told you that I... <clears throat> tried to take them myself several times. I had very severe muscle aches and gave them up after a few days. Uh, but I'm only one out of millions of people. But if you go to your cardiologist, he will tell you uh, falsely, probably because he has been lied to by the uh, drug manufacturers, that there is a reduction of stroke and uh, heart attacks as a result of taking these this class of drugs. This study proves the opposite. The cholesterol-lowering cardiovascular diseases and the rosuvastatin Jupiter controversy was just published, as I say, in the Archives of Internal Medicine. It was published yesterday. And it says, the results of the trial do not support the use of statin treatment for primary prevention of cardiovascular diseases and, here it comes, raise troubling questions concerning the role of commercial sponsors. Bingo. In other words, the manufacturers of these drugs own these doctors the same way that street pimps own prostitutes. Now you say, come on, that's a little extreme. No, not at all. One of the lead uh, proponents, or um, well, that's, a, that's a nice word, one of the lead uh, uh, salesmen is a Dr. Abramson. And Dr. Abramson, I think, is also from Harvard, the same place that Kagan comes from. And he has served uh, in many, many cases... Uh, as a consultant for many companies. This is classic today, and this is classically done now amongst doctors. And you'll find that the um, pharmaceutical companies are buying doctors the same way uh, a guy with a fur suit in the streets of Oakland in the 1970s could have a run of women in the street. The same way a guy with a big hat and a mink a, a coat could have a run of women in the streets of Oakland, let's say 20 years ago. That's the same way the pharmaceutical companies have doctors today on their payroll who then control journals which control uh, publications which then control what doctors dispense to their patients now I'm not going to read you the study you should read it yourself just know that uh, these this class of drugs is not everything a doctor is telling you that they are number one number two the pharmaceutical companies uh, have influenced the results of these scientific findings and number three, many people are severely injured from this use of uh, drugs. Many, many people are severely injured from the use of this class of drugs and should not be taking them. There are many con conflicts of interests in these drug trials, and they're all pointed out in this study. And you should know about this. Now you'll say, well, I didn't read that in the paper. I didn't hear that from the FDA. Why should I listen to you, a talk show host, on this? Why, my cardiologist knows more than you do. Well, it could be your cardiologist doesn't know as much as I do about this, just as you don't know anything about Kagan, and I do, because I do this for a living and you don't. In other words, I actually studied what Kagan has done over the years. You haven't. All you do is tune into TV and you think you know everything about Kagan, but the whole thing is a is circus. So that's it. This is what happens. This is what's happened to America. So what shall I do? What should I do? Change anything? <clears throat> Any controversy which is for the sake of God or heaven, will have a good result. And any controversy which is not for the sake of God or heaven will not have a good result. I believe that the controversy we're having today is for the sake of God and heaven. And I believe that the controversy that I have pointed out will have a good result. I believe eventually people will come to understand that I am right about Kagan and that you have been hoodwinked once again by the government media complex. Now, there are four types of people who sit before talk show hosts. Some of you are like sponges, some of you are like funnels, some of you are like strainers, and some of you are like sieves. 
Some of you are like a sponge which absorbs everything. Some of you are like a funnel which takes in from one end what I say and spills it out from the other. Some of you are like a strainer which allows the wine to spill out and retains the sediment. And then some of you are uh, the best kind. You're like a sieve which allow the flower dust of my sayings to pass through and you retain the fine flour. That's the savage nation. Charles in Boston, WRKO calls. Welcome to the show. Yeah, Dr. Savage, I just wanted to say, uh, Elena Kagan, um, you know, she, I know you don't want to talk about it anymore, but she shows a lack of reverence and sobriety uh, to such a pious holiday that's, important to other americans you know maybe, thank you uh, that's christmas. right chinese restaurant Christi christmas i get it yep. that's right well, what would you expect from a liberal from harvard would you expect her to love christians and christmas would you expect her to revere the constitution or spit on the constitution and say that she's smarter than the old white men who wrote it remember this woman rose as a radical feminist who wanted to up the patriarchy you understand that so therefore any any patriarch who wrote anything is garbage to her that's right her and the other uh, bunch, they all think the same. They have no respect. They for think exactly the same. That's exactly right. That's exactly what we have here. We have an extremist president who's handpicking extremists for the Supreme Court who we will be stuck with for life. And unfortunately, other than Senator Jeff Sessions, we don't have a voice 